Clink. self-sufficiency this weekend. As you know, I don't cook in my kitchen because I can't. So yesterday I was mindful of taking some food out of the house to uh, prepare over here. And I did uh, is it chicken breast. It's right here, chicken breast. And I'm going to put it in the toaster oven along with the sweet potatoes. And I also have some stewed tomato and I have some Tuscan seasoning. We'll try that, but let me show you where the toaster oven is and then we'll get our food prepared. I'm not sure if I've ever taken you guys through the bathroom. So I am just winging it, and I would normally spray something here so I don't have spray. So I'm going to add just a little butter, just rub it down at the bottom. But of course I have to do what Annie Collis did with her chicken. She would uh, pour a little water down below. Alright, I thought I would cut this in half. Coarse salt. Pepper. Sprinkle a little of this seasoning on. It's really strong, but it smells pretty good. A little butter on each one. What else? A little water. Just at the bottom. Nothing like having a chair <laughs> at your disposal. I'm going to use it. Ah, nice. see how that works 375 for an hour it's hot as a Texas tornado but there's lunch just wanted you to hear it it is sizzling in there and it smells wonderful and I raised it up, put it up a notch, and we have 37 minutes to go. Watch out, 
This is Hidden Valley Ranch dressing. It's delicious, of course. The packet with uh, one cup of milk and one cup of mayo. I cut up some carrots and broccoli yesterday for the weekend for this purpose. So these, this will be my veggies before I hit the potato and the chicken. So I brought the chicken out. We're going to add the tomato. We'll go wild and do two. Ooh, and they are hot. They are hot. First thing I will do is add some salt. Butter next. And then the marshmallow. Give it a try. I don't know which one to do first. I guess I'll try the chicken. That is like Parmesan chicken. What it tastes like, straight from Olive Garden. Ooh, that's good. Let's try the potato. It's pretty delicious. Is good. Good morning. I decided on a campfire breakfast this morning. But first, I will make coffee here before heading out. set up in the shade here as much as I can. We have neighbors that have moved in from New Jersey and he is out on the lawnmower. He'll wonder what in the world I am doing, I'm sure. But maybe he'll think it's pretty cool.
is this called? Fat wood. <laughs> That's right. My little bushcrafter right there. I thought I would share with you a pinto bean recipe that is easy to do and delicious. It's a big hit around here. This morning I started with three quarters cup of pinto beans. Covered it in water, no salt, nothing. Just cook the bean, okay, for nearly two hours at a low boil. Right before it finished cooking, I merely added just a touch of chili powder and a touch of cumin. I am now going to drain that water. Most of the bean recipes you may come across uh, would never have you drain the water. But this is different. I'm going to heat up a skillet and put in just a slight bit of vegetable oil. couple of pieces of bacon. And because we have three pieces, I'm going to use them all. excellent uh, golden cornbread recipe on the back that I have used now for a couple of years and so I just stuck with it. It's good and it calls for and it's easy so don't feel intimidated by making homemade cornbread. Uh, one cup of cornmeal, one cup of flour. Recipe calls for four teaspoons of baking powder. But since making this, I've determined that three teaspoons work out just as well. Three teaspoons equal one tablespoon. Three tablespoons of sugar. So let's put the sugar in. A half a teaspoon of salt. One egg. Fourth of a cup of oil. This is vegetable oil. One cup of milk. But let's get back to our bacon. I will add the garlic and then I will drain that grease. Let's put the garlic in. And garlic only takes a couple of minutes Okay, what I'm going to do next is take some water, add a little water, don't even measure it, you don't have to. This is tomato paste, and whenever I open one of these, sometimes I use just a little, and then I throw the rest in a bag and put it in the freezer. And I just grab this out of the freezer, and it is merely tomato paste. This is where your seasoning comes in. I did not season the beans at all, except for the slight bit of uh, cumin and chili powder I put in the water, just for mainly for the color. And while I'm talking, I'm going to pull this off the heat uh, to make it easier. I don't want it to 
to boil down too much. But in your sauce, you will add a sprinkle of sugar. Almost a half a teaspoon I did. Salt. And probably a good teaspoon because the beans have not been salted. More chili powder. And just put a little on your hand. Looks good. Garlic powder. And that I'll just sprinkle in. Onion powder. How about some paprika? I've got to spruce it up. It's your world, don't forget. It's your world. You put in what you want. Paprika. This is just the base, and you can add and take away as you like. And a little more cumin. And there is your most excellent bean dish. Now we got to get back to the cornbread. Give her a stir. 